Hello and welcome to the OWC instructional series of videos. In this installment, we're going to replace the battery in a mid-2010 15-inch MacBook Pro. When replacing the battery in this machine, it's important that you calibrate the power management system in order to get the full use of your battery. We include these instructions as well, so be sure to watch all the way to the end of the video. We've already gathered our materials, shut down and unplugged the MacBook Pro, and are working on a soft static-free surface. We are now ready to begin. The first step is to close the MacBook Pro and flip it over. On the bottom, there are a total of 10 Phillips screws to remove. The three in the upper right are longer than the others, so remove those first. You can now remove the remaining seven screws, which are all the same size. Once you've removed all the screws, you can lift the bottom cover up and off. There are three trilobe screws holding the battery down which will need to be removed. Two in the open, and one hidden underneath the top part of this label. Simply peel back the label and you can remove this screw. As well as the other two. You can then lift the battery up by the tab and slide the outside edge in so it sits nearly vertical. This should give you easier access to the battery connector. Gently slide the connector from its socket and then you can lift the battery up and out of the bay. Set the outside edge of the new battery so that the indentations in its cover line up with the screw mounts on the frame. Then lean it forward so you can insert the connector into its socket. Finally, lay the battery flat into the bay and replace the three trilobe battery screws. Set the bottom cover back into place and push down in the center until you hear the snaps. Then, replace the three top right screws which are longer than the others. Then, replace the remaining seven screws, which are all the same size. You may now flip the MacBook Pro over, open it up, and turn it on. Now that the battery is installed and working, we need to calibrate the power system. We'll be demonstrating the process with a MacBook Pro, but it's the same for all MacBook models. First, shut your computer all the way down. Then, attach the power adapter. The light on the adapter should turn amber to show that the battery is charging. Once the battery is 100% charged, the light should turn green. Once it has, you should leave it connected for at least two more hours. However, you can use your computer during this time rather than leaving it off. After that, we'll need to discharge the battery. First, in the Energy Saver Preference pane, make sure all the sliders are set to the right and any power saving measures, like sleeping the hard drive, are turned off. Do this for both the power adapter and the battery settings. Once you've done that, disconnect the power cable and let the battery discharge completely until the computer shuts down. You can still use it at this time, but don't do anything particularly heavy. Steady and even usage will result in better power system calibration. Once the battery is discharged, your computer will automatically shut down. Leave it shut down for at least 5 hours to ensure the battery is completely drained. Finally, reattach the power cable and let the battery charge back up to 100%. This time, you can use the computer while it's charging. 
Once the battery is charged back up, the power management system is properly calibrated. You can now set your energy saver settings back to what they were before and use your computer normally.